Hi guys, EVP Man here with Tabits for Me. And today we're going to start out the year with a, a new review of what I think is a very cool product from NVIDIA. This is the NVIDIA Shield. Let's check it out. So we've been waiting uh, quite some time to get one of these in our studio and you may be asking yourself as you look at this graphic, uh, well what is the Shield? Um, as you see here we have a TV and it's showing you several of the channels that you're very familiar with um, on devices like the Roku, uh, if you think about uh, Fire TV, if you think about um, other devices like the uh, Apple TV. And the answer is that it is a media viewing system. Uh, but at the same time when you look towards the bottom you start seeing a game controller. Well, is this a PlayStation? Is this an Xbox? Is this something else? Uh, well, the answer is it also is a gaming system. It actually serves multiple purposes. It's a media consumption device. And if we take a look at the features in the top, we'll be able to see more about what is promoted with the Shield. So NVIDIA is known in the industry for providing high-end graphic solutions for gamers. Um, really, the graphic cards that they provide are leading edge and provide not just laptops but desktops, uh, incredible gaming experiences. So NVIDIA is taking that video graphics knowledge and experience and really packaging it in a product that's going to give you a, an exciting experience when it comes to your viewing experience for television shows as well as gaming. Um, as you saw here uh, the by the graphic, the NVIDIA Shield focuses on using um, Android's ecosystem. It's an Android-based operating system on this device that gives you access to all the content that's available on Google Play, uh, which really um, also expands beyond that. Um, it gives you the ability also to stream content from your tablet, from your phone, from your laptop using Google Cast. And just as you've seen, let's say, with Apple TV as well as the recent release uh, within Amazon, they have the ability to use a remote to search and find content. So um, really, NVIDIA had this uh, solved prior to Apple launching it and also prior to Amazon launching it. And that is uh, possible with this little remote that you see here. Uh, in addition to that, they're giving you some really good um, quality, uh, I would say, uh, content through 4K streaming. So you're able to watch things in 4K. And for those of you who haven't seen a 4K TV, it's actually incredible the kind of quality and the Christmas and the, I would say, the how immersive the experience is when you're watching a show. Um, in this case, if you have a 4K TV, this is going to pair up really nicely because it's going to give you the ability to see content that is available in 4K on screen, as well as going to give you a really good uh, audio experience. So you're going to hear things in Dolby 7.1. But it goes beyond that. And now what we're seeing is these devices, you're seeing Apple doing this, you're seeing Amazon doing this, Roku has been doing this, but at a very, um, I would say, not as extensive as some of the other solutions, but including gaming. And really when it comes to gaming, it's not just about having content, which uh, the NVIDIA Shield has a wide library of content thanks to uh, the Android uh, marketplace from Google Play. Uh, but it also has incorporated uh, what in my opinion is a very good controller. And we're going to see this controller as we do the unboxing. So it has an, a controller that is very similar to what you would find on the Xbox or that you would find on the PlayStation. Uh, again, giving you more than just a, I would say, a media viewing experience. It's also including a gaming experience. So now let's go ahead and break the seal and see what's inside. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, open this up right here and check out the content. As you start the unboxing, what we'll notice is that there's kind of a box inside of the box. So here we have the shield and here we have uh, the remote. So this unit actually is a good bundle because uh, this one includes both the voice remote, the unit, and the remote control. There are some units out there that come in a smaller package that don't include the voice remote. They only include, for example, the um, the, let's say the controller or one or the other. This bundle actually happens to have everything. Now, um, as we do the unboxing, just a couple things I just wanted to talk about when it comes to the specs. Uh, there are uh, two versions um, of this uh, NVIDIA Shield. One of them is a 500 gigabyte uh, version and the other one is a 16 gigabyte version. Uh, the one is considered the Pro and then this one is not considered the Pro. Now, if you're considering a Shield, which one should you look at? Uh, just one thing to highlight, and let's look at the specs before we continue to do that um, unboxing. Uh, here, what you see here is what's included. We talked about the Shield, the controller, the remote, which is voice enabled, an HDMI cable, and then you have the actual processor itself. So this has a, a pretty powerful processor. It's using a 256 core NVIDIA processor, 64 bit CPU. It has three gigs of processing memory. And we've been seeing more and more of the phones are starting to come 
come out with 3 gigs and it really helps Android be everything it can be because it has more overhead to work with. Now again, this is for processing purposes. It has Android TV and Google Cast Ready. It, uh, as we mentioned, has an ACMI output, 4K output with 10-bit uh, color, and then it has 16 gigabytes of storage. Now, you may be saying, wait a minute. Why go with a 16 gigabyte unit if there's a 500 gigabyte unit? The um, 500 gigabyte unit is 299. This unit is available for 199. So you're paying $100 more to have significant more storage. But this is one thing you should consider. Notice this area: expandable micro SD storage up to 128. Now, with you know, when you think about the price of memory cards, you know you're looking at under forty dollars, under thirty dollars, probably even less if you're watching a, an Amazon uh, deal day to get 128 gigs of storage. And given that this device is connectable to a network, um, both wireless and wired, you can look at expansion or storage options separately. So. I personally would go with the um, lesser unit because you can expand and go beyond the space that the unit has. It also supports 802.11 AC with dual uh, band Wi-Fi, uh, gigabit Ethernet. It has two USBs, one three and one two, and then it supports Dolby surround sound. Now, if we go back to the uh, unboxing, we saw that we have a remote. Now let's go ahead and check out what's in the box. So the first thing we'll do is go ahead and continue to remove these tabs that keep everything nice and secure. I think there's another one somewhere right here. There's the other tab. Go ahead and remove that. And we'll shake that out. All right. So this is the shield. Um, larger, I would say, than a than an Apple TV. So you can see that uh, it's it's larger than that. It's larger, obviously, than a Fire Stick. It's only on a Fire Stick, and it's larger than a Roku. Uh, I'd say that this is probably the size of a small DVD player. Um, again, if I put my hand on it, it's about two hands width, um, but it's very thin. If we look at it right here, you can notice how thin that is. Uh, but it's a really good-looking device. Let's see what's else in the box. Here we have uh, Techno Support Guide. This is um, how to pair the remote. And here, we'll remove this. Here we have our remote. And this is a big remote. And again, this is what really makes any gaming experience a gaming experience. So this is very Xbox-like, I would say. And you'll notice that it has kind of the same controls and the same buttons here. And it has in the front, if you notice, the same type of controls. You know, little trigger buttons and these buttons right here. You have headphones capability, as well as you have right here the um, micro USB charging, I would assume, right there. So everything looks and feels, and you know, I don't have really large hands, but this feels good. This feels good in my hand, and I can see myself playing. It has on the bottom this curvature right here that makes it feel good when it's in your palm. So nice, um, oh, and as you can see, just by touching it right here, it uh, turned down. So you have some control options and some things there. So we'll look at pairing and how this works a little bit later. Now, uh, what else do we have in the box? So here we have a little instruction guide. Uh, and actually, it's probably a little safety guide here. We do have our micro USB uh, charging cable for the remote. And the nice thing about it is that it comes with an HDMI cable. You don't see a lot of devices that come with an HDMI cable. That's great because it makes you know just the overall setup and purchase uh, much easier. Let's switch over now to the remote and let's see what's in the remote box. So we'll go ahead and cut this guy open too. Let's get this off camera for a second. And we'll cut this. All right, and all right. Again, really good-looking remote. I'll open this up. Has this nice foam container for it. And here you notice uh, volume. Oh, this is pretty cool. So to raise the volume or to lower the volume, you just swipe up and down. It looks like. And then you have play, stop, voice, and something very similar for those of you who have used the, I would say the Fire TV. Uh, you know the remote and you're seeing this Apple did this as well so I would assume up down left right and center is going to be the select and you can see the mics right here uh, there's a charge yep it's uh, rechargeable so you can see here and it looks like it may even have a headphone jack on the remote we'll see if that's what that is in a couple seconds so a uh, really good looking remote really thin as well now let's take a look at the shield so you have venting here taking place you notice you have a slot for your micro SD USB 
you have um, again a couple USB ports and it looks like we may even be able to put a solid state drive or expand storage right there because we have those two ports there we'll find that out as we do some testing you have your Ethernet HDMI right and your power and then in the front here you'll notice that you have uh, your power button right there uh, there's some additional venting happening on the bottom nothing on this side and nothing on this side but really sleek uh, device you can see um, our little power button there doesn't really take up a lot of space what we're going to do just to give you a sense of, on how big it is let's um, put an iPhone or a Note 5 next to it so you can see the size all right so you want to see you know compare the size so here's an iPhone 6 okay so this is the smallest iPhone 6 um, and you'll notice that it's just as tall as it if we were to compare it to uh, the Note you'll notice uh, the Note is a little bit taller than it and if you compare it to a LG V10, it's also a little bit uh, shorter than a V10. Uh, very thin, as we saw. So all in all, I think this is very pocketable. <laughs> not like for a backpack, not for your pocket. But it's something that you could take with you if you wanted to. But I think that this is more designed to be in a, I'd say, a media console, something that you have in your home. Um, it would be very easy to mount this on a wall, even though I don't see any kind of brackets uh, I think that you could probably use some industrial Velcro or some brackets to hold this up if you want to keep this behind your TV and not have it visible. So this concludes our unboxing and initial overview of the NVIDIA Shield uh, from NVIDIA. We're going to do uh, some subsequent videos that are going to cover setting it up and looking at gameplay and some of the features on why you'd want to consider uh, this over a Roku or let's say a Fire TV or even an Apple TV. So. Um, Stay tuned. There's be some videos coming up in the next couple of days just covering those features. And as always, I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you have any comments or questions, leave it on the YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.